go live. Time to go live. Time to go live. Time to go live. Time to go live. Let's see if it worked. Am I live? Am I live? I am live. Looks like it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to one of my episodes here about doing diligence on Flippa. If you guys are new to the channel, I've been mixing it up a little bit with both uh, content on Flippa because over the past three years, I've been buying and selling sites on Flippa and I even made a course on it. And the link to that will be in the description below. Shameless plug there. But on this episode, I did uh, a previous episode actually on uh, diligence and what good versus bad websites are. And everybody pretty much demanded that I do a follow-up to the previous episode. So that's what this is. And let me go ahead and get rid of some of these browsers here in the background because my looks like my screen is like fidgeting out here. Let me remove. Oops. Looks like that was the wrong one. Let me just add this one here. And we are on the Flippa. There we go. There we go. There we go. We are back on there. So I wanted to just do a follow up and show you guys what um, what it's all about with diligence. I know that there are a ton of questions in addition to what I'm going to cover here, but I wanted to show you guys at least what I look at initially when I'm doing diligence. And in addition to the content that I made on the course that a lot of you guys have signed up for, which is awesome. I, I just wanted to show you guys what my initial uh, knee-jerk reactions to a lot of these websites are. And one of the main ones that I wanted to cover was SaaS and service businesses, because that's what I really like on Flippa. And that's what a lot of investors really like on Flippa, because it gives you full control of the product and, and you can actually monetize the user base in different ways. So I wanted to focus on that today and not necessarily jump down too many of the drop shipping businesses. I made a video a couple weeks ago now that you know people were pretty angry about about drop shipping businesses and buying them because if you aren't an expert in Facebook ads, which I am not by any means, and you need to tune your Facebook pixel, spend $100,000 training the Facebook pixel, if you get a brand new business and it's not with the ad account, then you're kind of in a difficult position. Uh, so you got to hire a contractor that's very, very good, understands the niche, understands the type of ads that you need to be running, can scale linearly or however you want to do it. And uh, there's a lot of work baked into those dropshipping businesses. So I'm not not going to focus on that. If you're interested, check out the channel. That previous video went up uh, a little while ago when I talked about buying dropshipping businesses and why I don't do it. But on here, I want to cover some SaaS businesses on Flippa today and what I look for initially. So the first one, and one quick side note is I interviewed Blake Hutchinson, the CEO of Flippa recently on the podcast. The link to that will be below so you guys can listen to him talk about Flippa, how fast they're growing and things like that. If you're a user there, it's really valuable information. Really enjoyed talking to him. But this is uh, the front page of Flippa where you can see the editor's choice and featured. And from what Blake said, this was like the area of the website that goes gangbusters. These, these web properties are extremely active. As you can see, there's bids for all different sizes on here. And the watch feature that they added this on here makes it really, really easy to uh, get notifications when things have changed with the listing. So the first one I want to look at is, uh, looks like this one is SAS, uh, and it's trust message. Looks like it's, uh, 60 K let's click on it and see what we got. And part of what I cover in the course, as well as, um, you know, in previous content on the channel about buying and selling websites, this is, uh, one of those that has, um, an agent. So for example, I could reach out to a broker to help me with this deal and they've, you know, outsourced that to Flippa to help them. And, uh, it's, it's a benefit for the seller as well as the buyer. You can see here, the bin is 130 K. So not even looking at the revenue yet, I can tell that if the revenue is making, if you divide that by 20, 
then you should be able to get what the monthly revenue is. So let's say 120K, let's say it's at 6K per month, and we are at 3K per month. So they are asking, uh, looks like the reserve price makes sense for the actual price for the entire business here. At 60K, that would be equivalent of what I'd be looking for at 3K a month, because that's about 20X monthly revenue, um, which is what you're looking for on average in an offer upfront for the business, because uh, you know, that way you're making your money back in theory, minus expenses over two years. So that looks uh, reasonable uh, for, as their starting price. I think that the buy it now is a little hefty uh, because that's twice as much as what they're asking for. So that's like 40x <laughs> the um, monthly revenue. And that's fine. I mean, people people really trust their businesses and love their businesses and want to maximize uh, the amount that they're going to get for it. With this graph, uh, it's not doing it very good uh, justice there for that 40x of a monthly revenue asking for the business when you have 29 verified page views, 123 and 206. Uh, it's really, uh, there's, there's nothing really here uh, for, for justification there. So Trust that uh, MSG is a recurring revenue SaaS business. We have three monthly plans uh, available, 97, 197, 297. Looks like 95% uh, profit margin, easy to maintain, excellent reputation, fantastic growth opportunities, business strength. Let's see what we got here. Inventory, zero units, yep. Brand assets, hosting accounts, relevant email accounts, Facebook, 1.8, evidence of revenue, PL. Okay, so just at first glance here, you can see they've they've excluded the costs that have gone into that. Uh, they say that it's a 95% profit margin here. So uh, I'm not sure why they haven't included their, their costs in there, but... This is something that they got the initial price right here. They should have started the bid at $1 and they should have made the reserve 60 and they should have put the buy it now at 60, honestly. But if, if, if they didn't want to do that, that's fine. Um, they can, you know, potentially see if there's going to be any bites for this, but at 3k a month, 20 X that is going to be 60 for the entire business is uh, probably the maximum that they're going to get here. I mean, even that is aggressive given the level of traffic. I don't even understand. I don't see any sort of uh, evidence for the 3K. And um, I'm not seeing much distribution here between, they don't actually show the verified traffic channels, like if it's organic, but still it's like, um, you know, 206 page views in all of May. I don't, I don't see that there. So this one, I'm not going to rate this too high. I'd say this one is probably like a five out of 10 as far as like a website that would be really, really fun to own and maintain and add to the portfolio. But let's, uh, let's move on past this one. Cause this one seems like it's, it's, uh, they're asking for four times, um, four times a monthly recurring revenue, which is, uh, or multiple which is pretty intense. So let's find one that is a lot of these. I like to use various different tactics when it comes to this. Let's look at one that, let's see. Mm -hmm. Services internet. Let's see what this is. Uh, no, I've seen so many of these SEO ones coming across. $5 people, it's dropshipping business, Nation Wolf, dropshipping, health, um, vitamin store for sale, da, 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 recording review, Amazon affiliates. Let's go ahead and check this one out. I, I enjoy Amazon affiliates. I do, I do, because they normally have pretty consistent uh, growth here whenever you're selling on Amazon and it's, a, let's see, a content site. So here we have, it's built in PHP. It's a content site. So if you guys are new to Amazon, 
businesses, this is like they develop content and they'll review certain products on Amazon in a niche and then just direct everybody to Amazon. This one looks like it's all about music gear. So they'll do a review about like a music um, stand or something or a microphone or um, you know some sort of gear that you would need to produce music and then link to Amazon using an affiliate link. This one is making, it looks like, gross 164 net is 144 and the traffic's pretty consistent you can see here that it is going up and down but it's uh it went up 3x so i'm wondering if they turned on any ads started in january 19 organic search that's good hefty good number 71 percent. that's a really really healthy number united states 1700 majority coming from there claimed profit looking good looking good twenty dollars probably hosting is their cost i paid about 1200 just for the domain if you do your due diligence you'll see it's pretty strong it does look quite strong uh, awesome domain name slash backlinks you can see the stats here let's see here right now it's just through the keywords how to make music best dot for beginners all right. Looks like uh, I was getting a nice curve, but then switched to the domain. Unfortunately, most of the time was spent cleaning it up. Now it's getting back to normal. Issue was the subdomain forum dot recording review. I've now removed all the redirects from it two weeks ago, which brings the traffic back up. Just keep an eye on the disavow. I usually do it weekly and you should be good. So yeah, this is a, this is a healthy business here. Um, compared to the previous one we looked at, this one is a content website, once again, that's talking about music gear, and that sends people that are reading those reviews organically to click through on Amazon, and you get a commission when those sales are made. The reserve is 4000 and you can buy it now, or the bin is 4300 So the quick math is 140 40 for let's say 150 rounding in between gross and net at 150 times or even let's say 100 times uh 20 20x multiple on the monthly revenue you're looking at two thousand dollars so he's actually once again looking at in between sounds like 25 and 30x uh which is reasonable for an initial um offer here because it is growing. You can see that there and it's pretty consistent. So I think that this is this is a healthy uh, a healthy seller. This is a healthy product, healthy business. Haven't even looked at the website, but based on the stats and the actual verified information, it's been around for says three years, but there's only data here on since 19. Seems like he was redirecting, which is really interesting. But uh, I think this is a healthy business. I would definitely make an offer on this at probably around 2500 or 3 uh and then meet somewhere between the 3 and his offer right there. But you got to respect the buy it now because this is effectively saying eh, are you willing to pay, you know, an additional 1300 or 1500 dollars to just avoid conversation <laughs> and just buy it, do the transaction. And surprisingly, there are a lot of people out there that do. Uh, they just want to speed through. They want to complete it and complete the transaction and just move move on. Um, so all the power to them. Respect. Very well done. On to the next one here. And one really great section here that you can see is buyers also like. I use this quite often. And you can see on my screen here how to live in Hawaii. And the green is highlighted that means that it is very active. And I believe it also means that the reserve has been met. Uh, oh, no. So it's, it just means that it's super active. And the reserve was set at 100. So it looks like, oh, yeah. All right. This is a good one. This is a perfect one to review here. So this is classified as a content website as well. And what you want to look for initially with content websites is the age 
not necessarily what the technology was that was used to build it, but the site age and the page views slash unique views are very important. And this is a great representation of a good business on Flippa. Love, love when I come across these. So as you can see here, consistent, this is probably organic, haven't even scrolled down yet, but very consistent page views, unique visits. I love seeing this steady. Uh, I don't like seeing the upward graphs. I like seeing the consistent all the way straight line across every month. Uh, that to me from a content website, that's what you want because that's going to produce for a very long time. Um, uh, you know, until Google changes its algorithm <laughs> and then, and then you got to, you know, adjust from there. All this is AdSense. So this is an AdSense revenue generator. This is very passive. And you can see here it's verified 323, 234. It looks like it's kind of trending down a little bit in Jan eight or July 18, 12 months ago, 479. And now we're at almost 50% that 232. And it's averaging about 310. And this is something that is a little... Uh, you know, I, I like that they average it out, but at the same time, it is a little bit harder to make a decision because in July 18, a year ago, it was 479, and then now it's at 232. So when you see the 310, you kind of initially say, like, that's almost $100 off of what it's currently making. And that's just because an average between a year ago and today uh, and all 12 months. So it is a little bit different when you're looking at it like that. That's just my opinion is that it should probably be the previous six months averaging, but you know, I like more data. More data is king, so I like seeing all of these months lined up here and verified. Very, very high quality listing here. You can see it's consistent with page views and uniques. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is almost a 90% organic traffic, 21,000 page views. That is a uh, a golden ticket right there. 22,000 from the United States. It is the primary driver coming from organic, almost 90%. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a gold star on the Flippa Marketplace. This is something that you could buy and it would sit there. You could create more content. And look at this profit. $3 on hosting. And the profit is just pure there. Revenue four seventy nine, cost three dollars, profit four seventy six. Like these numbers, they're they're common when you can find these types of listings. You'll see it across the board when you if you have a, a stack of gold star listings from Flippa. Uh, and I'm just making up the gold star name, by the way. That's not like an actual classification, but this is uh, definitely definitely something that would be worth putting a bid on. Uh, because this is, this guy knows what he's doing. He, um, he really has added everything to this listing. And this is something that I found in this section here. Buyers also like. This was not an editor's choice. This was not a featured business. It doesn't have like the stamp of approval here. This is literally just hidden in the rough. It's just a diamond in the rough. A needle in a haystack. And you can see here, he's got five transactions totaling 4,300. So he knows what he's doing. Uh, Art Vist there, 100% positive feedback, Flippa escrow. And it's these are the types of things that I really enjoy finding on Flippa because they're so underrated. You can see that people are, are commenting on here. Other buyers are um, very active. So this is actually one that's a little bit... Um, a little bit different. So the account, let's see, is he not selling the Amazon account in addition to that? Profit only ads and the website has to... Run. Okay, yeah. So you would just have to sell or you'd have to flip the AdSense account over to yours, which is fine. You'd want to do that anyways. So this is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and watch this one. What you do is you just click this little button here, watch it, and you get email notifications whenever it is uh, done. So an offer for this at 300 times 20x monthly multiple would be 6k that's what it's currently bidded at you can tell because there's all professional buyers on here clearly that know what they're doing experienced buyers 
placing their bids. They're all hovering around the same amount, which is 20x multiple. He's asking for uh, the buy it now 14.5. So at 14.5, that's, yeah, someone someone's probably going to, this might get up to eight in the next five days based on 48 bids. Uh, that's enough interest because people see that this is a, an actual passive investment vehicle and it's all AdSense. So as long as your AdSense account is structured and you're, you're, uh, you're live, you're good to go. A guide to Hawaii website for people moving or already residing in Hawaii. So this is a great example. So, so far we went through three different websites. The first one was not, not very uh, good in my opinion. It was very, very, very poorly written and low amounts of data. The second one was definitely high quality, had consistent um, traffic, good organic. It had a good uh, business model where you're you're creating content around Amazon affiliates, uh, which means that you're creating each post about reviewing something and then linking to Amazon. People read the, the description or read the post and then go to Amazon and purchase it. You get a kickback from Amazon. Very powerful business model at scale uh, for a lot of revenue coming from Amazon. And then this last one here is definitely my favorite out of all of these. And these are all very small businesses that I want to cover because this is very obtainable for people. When you're talking about even 14.5 and the last one at like 8K or I think it was 4K actually, you're, you're dealing with something that is a very low, a, a, a low amount of money when we're talking about an investment, not like, you know, any kind of uh, 401k, you're not going to empty out your 401k to buy a $4,000 business or even a 14.5 business. Like you're, you're definitely doing this uh, with savings. So a really uh, savings, like active savings, not like a, an investment account. So fascinating stuff here. I'm really glad that I got to find a couple of these. This one, as I said before, this was not an editor's choice. This was not a, um, a one on the homepage, like a featured one, that it is just a diamond in the rough here. When their algorithm presents it, you can see another one here that's active, highlighted in green, just like before. And if you go to any of these, Flippa does an amazing job of rep or recommending similar sites. And these are uh, fantastic. Like this one, you'd have to dig deep into Flippa to find this one and the algorithm recommends it to you. So I highly recommend checking this section out when you're looking at listings to give you an edge because this, this is something that uh, should be on the featured page. This should be something that is front and center for Flippa, uh, but it's not because sometimes people do their postings. Like this guy's really, really good. You can see he's he's done this multiple times. He probably did this self-serve, ran through, and posted this. Um, when he should be trying to get this featured because this is something that um, even a beginner would be really great at uh, because this is just a, a super, super straightforward AdSense passive website. So that's kind of my my rant on Flippa. As I've said before, guys, um, a lot of you guys ping me on DMs about the diligence that I do, and I wanted to make sure to do this video for you guys, a follow-up video from the previous one about not buying drop shipping and also an add-on to the good versus bad. And in this example, it went from like bad all the way to really good, um, in my opinion, at very low costs here. I'm not doing like seven-figure, six-figure business deals here. Uh, I, on the channel, I want to make sure that we we cover very low, um, low barrier to entry businesses here. So anyone can can participate in this asset class because it's very exciting. And that's kind of it. I think I'm going to do another one because based on the demand from the first one, you guys were all over it. And I want to make sure that we cover a lot of businesses because there's thousands, tens of thousands of businesses being sold on this marketplace a lot. And there's not very many people doing content on this. So I want to make sure that I get as, um, you know, cover a lot of really great businesses and something like this is from an entrepreneurial perspective, like this business generating $300 a month passively, all of its organic traffic. It's been around for eight years. It's about living in Hawaii, AdSense entirely. 
like that is at its core something that if you're an entrepreneur you've you've started companies that's a a, a fun thing to to own on on the side like that's just a fantastic niche to be in so uh content websites are are very exciting to me because they're very low low maintenance and um you know the sky's the limit with them so that's it for this episode. I hope you guys like it. If you're interested in learning more, all the links will be in the description below as well as my course that I've mentioned multiple times. I don't want to be that guy like selling a course all the time, but it's been requested. So I wanted to do it. And the link to that will be in the description below. And you can also use the uh, coupon that I've been, I think, plugging on here on this channel specifically, which is, uh, I think it's Invest 101. Um, on here. So if you use that in the link below, uh, then you'll be able to get, I believe it's 10% off of the course. So thanks so much for watching guys. Love you guys. And I will see you guys on the next stream. I'll try and cover more of these in the near future.